Hello YouTube, it's me, Ayrton Z here, back with a screencast of my iPhone today, and I want to go over some, some really important details for iCloud, mainly what exactly is iCloud, because I think there are a lot of misconceptions out there, and a lot of people that are actually really afraid to use it, because they don't want their stuff being stored in the cloud. So right off the bat, iCloud in its most physical aspects is servers someplace on earth or multiple places on earth that store specific user information that is encrypted by both Apple's firewalls and using your Apple ID and password. Let's take a look at what some of those things are. I'm going to jump over onto my phone here and I'm going to go into settings. And when you open up your settings, it'll probably look like this. You can scroll down just a bit till you get iCloud. Jumping into iCloud, you can see you have different storage plans. You have something called family sharing. We won't go over that today. It's going to be really brief. I'm going to try to do my best to make it short. And then we also have, of course, the user that you're logged into. If you're not logged in, you can log in with your Apple ID and password. If you don't know where, what those are or where those are, uh, you have a, another task to do. But so jumping over here, we have all of these different things here. We have iCloud Drive, which is very similar to Dropbox. It lets you store stuff in the cloud. Uh, photos, of course, syncs your photos across all your devices. Um, the first one I want to go over and I'll show you an example of is Contacts. Because what iCloud Contacts does when you have it turned on like I do on my device, if I add a contact on one device, it'll show up on all of my devices. So jumping back over to my iPhone here, we can see I have contacts enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the settings app and go into the phone app here. I'm going to create a new contact and I'm just going to title this contact test because it's a test and hit done. Now this test contact is going to be saved into iCloud and then accessible from all my other devices. Now on my iPad, I'm going to go ahead and search for my test contact. And sure enough, it comes right up here. Sorry for the glare, guys. But I have a test contact here on my iPad. Now what I'm going to do on the iPad is actually edit this test contact as the last name 123. So I edited that, so now my test contact on my iPad says test one, two, three. And I'm gonna jump back over to my phone. And you can see now on the phone, you, you saw it actually do that. Now it says one, two, three, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, this works exactly the same on all of these different categories. If I create a new note on one device and I have it turned on in iCloud, that note will show up on all of my devices which is an extreme time saver because you don't have to copy and paste stuff or email stuff to yourself, um, which would you know, be crazy. Now the last two things, and I think the most important things in iCloud are going to be backup and find my iPhone. So first up here is backup. Let's jump into backup and see what it looks like. So right off the bat, it is super, super simplistic. You have an on and off and a backup now option. What's important to note is when backup is turned on, it will automatically backup for you every single time your phone's connected to Wi-Fi and plugged in charging. So backup is just really, really, really convenient and it's extremely safe. Backup takes all the information on your phone, every single bit of it, except for your passwords. You'll have to re-enter passwords if you ever restore from a backup but it takes all that information, puts it into one big bundle, sends that bundle into iCloud. That bundle is encrypted with your Apple ID and password, and then of course Apple servers are encrypted as well. So you can rest assured that your information is quite secure. The, uh, the chances of someone accessing it are next to none. I don't wanna say it's impossible because there are some pretty smart people out there, but it's pretty unlikely. Now going back, also kind of along the lines of Find My iPhone or of uh, iCloud Backup is Find My iPhone because Find My iPhone is also a, a type of security for your phone, just like having a backup of your phone is a nice security of your information. 
with Find My iPhone enabled, if anyone ever picks up your phone, steals your phone, if you lose your phone, with Find My iPhone enabled, it makes it impossible for anyone to wipe the phone with your Apple ID logged in. Not even Apple can do it. If your Apple ID is logged into the phone and Find My iPhone is turned on, your phone is useless to anyone who finds it. What Find My iPhone also lets you do is actually track your phone in the event it's stolen or lost, make it play a sound in the event you can't find it in the couch at home, uh, and actually make a message display on it in the event you lose it so someone can, you know, you can put your friend's phone number on the screen so that they can call you. Um, so it is extremely, extremely nice to have those capabilities. Anyway, guys, this kind of wraps up uh, everything I want to do about iCloud. There's still so much more about it, but I wanted to make this nice and brief. If you guys have any other questions on iCloud, feel free to drop me a comment. Make sure to like this video so I can keep making more of them. I want to keep doing more along the lines of iCloud photos and stuff like that. So tell me what you think. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.